light part 1 hello children light plays an important role in our lives without light we cannot see anything and we have seen in the first part of the video on plants that plants make food in the presence of sunlight there are many sources of light sun and stars are natural sources of light bulbs tube light lanterns candles etc are artificial sources of light we shall learn about the various aspects of light in this video come let us meet rama and rinku who are on a visit to their dada ji's house today both the girls along with their dada ji have come to watch the popular movie the jungle book dada ji i'm having fun the story of mogli is very good and there is still half an hour of cinema let's go to eat something dada ji what is this i cannot see properly on the screen the shadows of those who are walking around are appearing watch the movie now we'll talk about this later Dada ji the story of jungle book was quite good but when the people in front were going out then we could not see anything properly on the screen children on the screen in the cinema hall we saw were the shadows of those who were standing in front of the projector yes the light was falling on them is this why that happened Well said. This happened because they were standing in front of the projector from where the projector's light was coming. Hmm. Light travels in straight line. Whenever an opaque object comes in between the light, a shadow of the object is formed. like the light that is coming from the street lamp it is falling straight yes children we will go home to understand the phenomenon better we shall conduct an experiment at home dada ji you were telling about an experiment rama bring a candle from that cupboard Let's light this candle and place it on this table taking a paper and roll it like a pipe you will see the candle Dada ji I see a candle I will bend this paper pipe a little right now Dada ji I can't see the candle That's because the light just goes in a straight line. Yes, Dada ji, the light that comes from the flashlight also goes in a straight line. Yes, we will conduct another experiment. Take three thick papers or thick cardboards. All three of them will be pierced at the same place. These three cardboards will be placed one behind the other on the table. Take this candle and place it in the front of these cardboards at the start. I shall stand at the other end and look I am able to see the candle from all the three holes. You are correct. If the three holes on the three different cardboards would have been pierced at three different levels then the candle would not have been visible This experiment shows that light travels in a straight line Hmm However the direction of the rays of light can be changed although they travel in a straight line oh i see how is that possible dada ji come i shall explain this to you 
we shall take a mirror. Rinku, please hold this mirror. We shall stand in a triangular shape. Dadaji, should I stand in between holding this mirror? Yes, Rinku. Me and Rama will face opposite each other. When I have put the torch light on the mirror, what has happened? This light fell on me. Why did this happen, Dadaji? This means that the mirror can change the direction of the light. Why just a mirror? The light can change the direction of its path on any shiny smooth surface. I know. Like the water in the lake, a steel utensil, etc. Yes, when the light rays strike a mirror and return, it is called reflection. Is it because of reflection we can see our image on the mirror? Yes, children, we need light to see anything or an object. When light falls on the object, we can see that object due to reflection of the light. In the same way, when light falls on a mirror, it gets reflected and we can see the image on the mirror. Yes, you are right. Dadaji, I have another question. We shall now eat something and we shall talk about it tomorrow. Okay, Dadaji. Children, have you all ever wondered why our images appear the same size as us when we see ourselves in a small or a big plane mirror? Children, we learnt about a few aspects of light. In the next video, we shall learn about the spherical mirrors and a few aspects related to them. Goodbye till we meet again.